Enterprise founder and publisher, Earl G. Graves Sr., an entrepreneur who created a vehicle of information and advocacy that inspired many to build wealth, passed away at the age of 85, uh, leaving forth a legacy of many entrepreneurial efforts and an amazing magazine that I've seen on my grandmother's table year after year. Joining us now to talk more about this from Charlotte, North Carolina is Roger Green. Roger, um, this man lived a life of entrepreneurship and of finance that many are gonna talk about for years to come. Absolutely, he lived a life of entrepreneurship and finance, but you can't even speak of contributions in the media without naming his name with the likes of Susan Taylor, Bob Johnson, Oprah Winfrey. We wouldn't even be able to do what we're doing as far as Onyx News right now without pioneers like him. Uh, just an amazing man that did not grow up with a silver spoon in his mouth, grew up from Be Bedford Stuyvesant, better known as bed -Stuy, New York, and just rose to prominence after uh, attending college at Morgan State University. He even served uh, the, the, C, the, the late Robert F. Kennedy, just had a phenomenal life and, and put his imprint on the media world. Yeah, I, he's what many will consider a champion of black business. He launched Black Enterprise in 1970, which uh, really focused on African-American entrepreneurs and also gave resources for them to become successful in business and mainstream business. Uh, it kind of doesn't get any better than that. No, he wanted to be a catalyst to kind of show African-American readers how to not only start businesses or work in industries, but to thrive and to be the top. Uh, in 1997, he wrote several publications about, you know, how to be successful in corporate America without being white. And so he was very passionate about raising the bar in the African-American community uh, so that not only would we have a seat at the table, but possibly the one running the ship. So I, I really am excited for his life. It seems like 85 years is just so short uh, for him to be on the earth, but he left his imprint and his legacy behind, even with his son now uh, being the, the, the operator of Black Planet and the CEO. Yeah, he took that, he took that magazine and, uh, you know, 50 years ago and made and has diversified multimedia, spreading messages of business and financial empowerment to more than 6 million African Americans through the time of print. And um, I mean, he's reached amazing, amazing goals and also left something like you said, for his son, entrepreneurship in the African American community is something that I appreciate that we continue to talk about because I'm hoping that it's something that we never let go of. Absolutely. That's one of the very first things that my father told me. He said, you want to be able to control your own destiny. You have to be an entrepreneur. Uh, and I'm just excited about it. people like him that just raise our consciousness to let us know that we don't just need 40 hours and a stool or 40 acres and a mule that we can literally go out there and control our own destinies and affect and disrupt the marketplace. So he just laid a, left a phenomenal legacy. Our thoughts and prayers certainly remain with his family, all those that he influenced and all of those that he was connected to. Roger, thank you so much for sharing your insight today. It's always a pleasure talking with you.